Hey Floss Tube, it's Jen from Jen's Stitching Niche. I'm back for an update video. Today is Monday, February 13th. I normally record on Sunday, but yesterday was busy. I went to a um, sampler of the a sampler guild of the Rockies meeting. So that took up my afternoon and had a really good time. Um, listened to a, an interesting presentation about Bristol samplers. So that was fun. And then I um, went out to eat for my birthday. My husband planned a very nice meal for us. So my birthday was on the 9th and then we went out on Sunday. So just had a really good time. So um, things have been busy. I mean, it hasn't been too bad. I'm looking forward to the semester ending because both of my sons appear to be moving over to Colorado in May. We've been talking to our Oh, our younger son and he and his um, girlfriend have decided they want to go ahead and move in May and not wait until October. So I can't wait to see my kids. Um, other than that, I've just, I've been doing a lot of stitching, not as much as I did in January, but I'm, you know, moving along. Um, today, I'll probably talk mainly about my stitching. I have a couple of finishes to share and then um, I'll talk about some shop update stuff at the end. So let's get to it. Okay, so my finishes, I have two finishes this, um, this month. The first one I talked about on my last video. This is one of the, I think it's called the garden mug. It's from Colonial, Old Colonial Designs. And they have the Polish pottery. Teresa gave me this as a present and I've had the kit for a while. So I finished it and I have a funny story. I'll show you this first. So not a lot of stitching. And then I just finished it following the instructions. The instructions tell you to um, back the stitched piece with some lightweight interfacing. And I was doing that while I was watching Sherry from Colorado Stitcher and not paying attention. And I ironed that on the front of my stitching. <laughs> and then I recognized it very quickly. And then I was able to peel it off pretty quickly and clean it up. So, oh my goodness. But it's really cute. And then that's a wooden button. You just sew through the um, mat board. And it came with everything. I don't know if these are available. Someone posted on my last video that the um, designer can't get these Polish pottery anymore. But thank you, Teresa, for getting that for me. It is so pretty and it will be part of my March decorations. So that's really my only cross stitch finish. My other finish is part of the Jingle All the Way series. That's the book that... Um, Michelle Rudy is kidding up. You can go to her website and I'll link it below. It's um, Farm Girl Dry Goods. She's kidding the entire book and you get six installments. And um, I've been working on these. So this is one of the little mats that I finished. And it's cute. It'll go into my winter decor. It's a, again, wool applique. So I love getting those kits. So that is all that I have finished this um, month. I'll put a couple of um, pictures in here of my Valentine's decorations because I have some old finishes that I have displayed. And the first picture is of the um, Country Cottage Needleworks monthly sampler February. I've been finishing these. I'm finishing these as the mounted flat folds using Vana the Twisted Stitchers tutorial. Well, I've actually followed it, was listening to the video while, while I was finishing the January one and I could just pause her. You know, sometimes I'm like, Vonnie, you're talking too fast. So I'd pause her and work through it. So it's really a great tutorial and that's how I'm going to do all of them. So I did the February and got that one posted. And then I've got a picture of my mantle with all of my silly stuff. Um, and then um, you can see that I've got quite a few um, Brenda Gervais pieces as well. So that's my Valentine's decorations. Um, and that's really it. I guess next I'll show you the progress I've made on my whips. 
Okay, so I watched Fauna's last floss tube video, and Fauna is very influential to me. And she was talking about assessing her cross stitch and really stitch the things she loves and not spending time on things that she doesn't want to do. And so I've decided to get rid of two of, well, get rid of one of my whips and rethink the second. So the first one was the Under the Sea Sal, which is a Doreen Jones. It's a cute little piece, 12 part. I've been stitching on it since 2017 and I've finished two parts, which tells you I don't really want to do that. So I've decided to give up on that one. I actually cut off the part I'd stitched and put the rest of the fabric in my stash. So that one's out. And the other one is the Vintage Eggs. So I've stitched this one and I'm working on this one and I thought I may want to do this one and I'm like no no I don't I like this I really liked him the most I'm going to finish this and then I'm done with this one I'm not going to do any more of these so that will reduce my whip count and I can focus on the things I really want to stitch so what I have been stitching on I worked on my butterfly temperature butterflies so I went ahead the first weekend in February and finished that March butterfly. So I'm set up for that. And then I've filled I don't in. I not understand. I filled in some of the February butterflies. So making progress. I stitch on that on the sun on Sunday. I fill in the previous week's temperatures. So. Let's see what else I've been stitching on. The first seven days of February, I worked on my, um, what is this called? Splendor of Florals. So I finished the all of the cross stitch of the violets, those purple flowers. So I only have, what I have left to do is to go in and work on the back stitching. And that won't take very long but I didn't get to it before the seven days were up. But isn't that pretty? And my husband, I asked him which one I should do next and he picked the um, December. I thought I had this picture out. Yeah, here it is. So I'm gonna do the poinsettia next. So, but this is gonna go away until March, no, April. And I will work on that for the first seven days in April. I continued working on my 25-7 piece and what I've done, I've kept up with it, but there are a couple of days that I did not get to stitch on this. So what I would do is the next day I would do 50 minutes. So I'm still getting a 25 minute time on, on it per day. And I've made some good progress. I have a wrinkle right there so about a quarter of the way through the colors are very very um subtle but i love that so pretty so that is peace love and purpose i'm stitching it on 36 count it's a piece of fabric that i got from farm girl dry goods the this one is on 32 count um antique white i believe using DMC. And then what else have I worked on? That's one, two. Oh, let me show you this one. The next seven days, I worked on the Poison Garden Sam uh, Mandala from Chatelaine. And I am struggling with this. My husband's like, just give it up. I'm like, no, I've spent way too much on this thing. But I stitched on it for three days and then decided I couldn't stand it anymore because I made a mistake. But I'll show you my progress. So that's my progress, which, you know, I'm, I've got a lot of stitching. It's a lot of sparkle, but mm, there you go. I'm just going through and doing all the cross stitching and then I'm gonna go back later and do the specialty stitches. Well, I was looking to see what the specialty stitches are. And I don't have any instructions in the chart that I bought. I bought this probably back in 2018. 
and it doesn't have any of the instructions. So I contacted Chatelaine and they're like, well, read the instructions. I'm like, there are no instructions. Then I didn't hear anything else back from them. So I just purchased the PDF and yeah, I was missing about 12 pages from the, the chart. And the other thing is that the symbols, oh my goodness, there's a symbol that is a slanted stick with a ball on it and a slanted stick with a half circle on it. You have to look really close to tell that there's a difference there. And of course, this is like the third time that I've found this type of two symbols that are almost exactly the same. And I always pick the wrong one. I don't know why, but I always pick the wrong color. So that's, I had picked out one color, removed all the wrong and put the right back in. And then I found this and I'm like, I just can't handle it. So I'm putting that away. I don't know when it will come out again. It may be next year. So, but whatevs. My husband, Hobby's like, just get rid of it. And then, so I showed you the temperature butterflies. Showed you that. I started a new project. So I am working through the sewing club book and... I mentioned my next project was going to be the Rose Hips and Ivy. And I'm stitching this on the Called For Fabric 36 Count Winter's Brew with most of the Called For threads. I'm substituting in from my um, stash. And I worked on this Saturday and Sunday. On Saturday, I just got this little bit here. But yesterday, during the um, Sampler Guild of the Rockies meeting, I got all of these berries done and all of this top border done. And then last night, when I got home, I finished all of this before we went out to eat. So my goal, I'm working on this for the next seven days. And I'm hoping I can get it finished. We will see. Because... After that, I'm going to start another new project. All right, so those are my whips. You want to see my knitting whip that I'm not doing so well on? I've been working on this knitting for about, I don't know, a few months, and I keep ripping it out. But I have been successful in not having to pull it out. And I guess I should show you this. I got this through... What is it called? Blue Ridge Pearl on Etsy. It's a kit and um, it's pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's very sparkly. I'm not a kind of sparkly person, but it's pretty. I do a, maybe two rows every day. It's going to take me forever. Who cares? I'll eventually, I'm having fun with it. All right, so those are my whips. All right, so now what are my plans? So I'm going to work on rose hips and ivy for the next seven days. And then after that, I'm going to start Matter in Hand. So this was a release last year. Yes, at Market from Jeanette Douglas. And it is part of the Sampler Guild of the Rockies. You know, you pick a project to work on for the year. And this is what I'm going to work on for the next, the seven days. Not quite the last seven days of February, but seven days towards the end of February. And I'm stitching this on another piece of 36 count linen that I got from um, Farm Girl Dry Goods. And then I did a silk conversion. So it's, it's charted for Classic Color Works, Gentle Arts, and Weeks Dye Works. And I pulled those colors and then went through my silks and did a conversion. And a lot of them are um, Belsois, some Gloriana, a couple of Krynik, I think. I don't think there's anything else that's um, silken colors, Belsois. And then I have this one flower silk from the stitchy box so but that's what i'm going to start after i've worked on the rose hips and ivy for seven days and then the last three days in february i'm going to start another project but it's a project i should be able to finish in three days 
I love these little bags that you can get from um, Shepherd's Needle. No, nope, Shepherd's Bush. Sorry. And I've stitched a couple of these. And so I'm pulling kits out of my stash and I'm going to work on them. But isn't that cute? It's got everything I need, including the little bag and even a needle in there. So last three days, that's what I'm going to work on. So those are my plans. I guess this is going to be one of the shortest videos I've ever made. All right, so now let's talk about giveaways. Last week I had four giveaways, and so the winners of those, the first one was the V is for Valentine by Heartstring Samplery. That goes to Christy T. My best friend in high school's name was Christy, spelled the same way. Her mother had read the book of Christy, and that's where she came up with that name. So Christy T, you're the winner of the V is for Valentine. Um, the second one is the skinny February pillow from Needle Bling Designs, and that goes to Lorraine Bergstrom. And Lorraine made a very nice comment, and she was talking about how she would have been crying when I talked about in my last video how the wind in Colorado is so bad. It ripped my chest of um, finishes out of my hands and all of my, uh, you know, finishes cross stitch finishes were just blowing across the parking lot at our apartment. I did cry, Lorraine. I cried a lot. My poor husband, he had to calm me down and it was just devastating. But like I said, I think I found all of them. Um, the third winner is the Holiday Hoopla Valentine from um, Brenda Gervais and that goes to Carol Herbert, of course, from my area of South Mississippi, I also need to say A-Bear, just in case. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but Carol, you're the winner. And then the last giveaway was for the quilt pattern, and that goes to Rose Sells, who's working on a temperature chart as well. And it does make a difference if you wait and do all of them at, that, at the end of the week. I sit on the floor right here, pull out the threads that I need, stitch them up, and put the threads away. So um, it's it's been working really nicely. And I do like the idea of doing the next month's outline that first weekend of the previous month. So, all right. So that is the, um, that is the winners for the giveaway. And this week I have, where's my giveaways? Hmm, I have two giveaways. I think there they are. All right. Everything's sliding. I have um, this song. Oh, it's called Song of Spring by Lizzie Kate. Is it upside down? No, that's right. Again, I'm looking at stuff and saying, Jennifer, you're never going to finish this. And I have a ton of these types of things. So instead of it just sitting in my stash, I'm going to send it to someone who will finish it. So if you're interested in this, it's number one. And then I've had a lot of comments about wool applique. People have talked about how they are, they are interested in trying wool applique. I love it. You can see back here, I'm starting a new project. It is, um, nope, that had it right the first time. For Luck of the Irish, it's a little bowl fillers. I got this at the Woolen Needle, and I'll link them below. If you want to um, do wool applique, I highly recommend ordering from the Woolen Needle. They have really good kits, and you can ask them to send you the overdyed threads for the stitching if you want, or you can just use DMC. But I've got all of that. It took me an hour to cut out all the pieces, so it goes really fast. But if anyone is interested, I'm going to share the pattern from Let There Be Peace. Um, you'll have to get the wool yourself, but you can contact the Woolen Needle and ask them for a kit of this if you would like. But it's a, the, the instructions for, this is Jerome, Jerome Thomas Designs. He has very clear instructions. So if you're interested in this, it's number two. And again, if you enter um, for a giveaway, please don't use any terms that's going to highlight that there's a giveaway. So don't say giveaway, don't say win, don't say anything like that. And then 
Um, you have to be 18 years old. Okay, I think that's all of the giveaway information. All right, so last little bit, I'm going to show you my haul, which I don't have that much. I did get the exclusive through Home, what is it, Homespun Needleworks on Facebook group. This is through Acorns and Threads. So you get all of the supplies for making this little sampler pouch. So cute. And it comes so nicely organized with one of those, what is it called, Bitsy Keeps from That So Kelly Co. So I was excited about that. And I got a present from one of my previous giveaway winners sent me this, which I love. Thank you very much. I appreciate that very much. So shop update. First of all, I do run some type of sale every week. And this week, the, um, it's 20% off any item that's in these tabs. So Barbara Anna, Chessie and me, Jeanette Douglas, Pineberry Lane, Valentine's Day, and Just for Fun. So anything that's in those tabs, just go to Jen Stitching Niche, and those are 20% off. Um, I'm also running 15% off everything that's in my Etsy site, so if you're interested in that, you can go look at those as well. And then markets. So markets coming up in about three weeks, two weeks. Pretty excited. Get to hang out with Teresa. Um... I am not doing pre-orders per se. I'm not posting things on my website for people to order. I may post the pictures of the things I know I'm going to um, pick up that I've pre-ordered. And that way people can just, you know, put be put on the wait list. That might be a way to do that. And that way I can see if I need to order more. But um, you can check. I'll have a tab probably the end of this week for needlework um 20 i mean nashville needlework it'll just say nashville 2023 tab and then i'll just start po uh, posting pictures of items that i will be picking up at market um lots of the big designers aren't going to be there i shouldn't say that but lots of the designers aren't going to be there brenda gervais is not going to be there but i'm getting her february releases i'm on her auto so i'll be getting those um Blackbird Design is sending their stuff directly to Hoffman, so they're not going to be there. Teresa's not going to have a booth. She's just going to be there shopping. If you haven't seen, Teresa just posted, she did a new Quaker. So go to kittenstitcher.com and look at her Quaker. It's beautiful. You can get that directly from her. Um, who else did I hear that's not going to be there? Fox and Rabbit's not going to be there, so... But that's okay. They're still releasing things. I just got an email from Erica Michaels today, and her stuff is really, really cute. So, But if you're interested, if you want to do a pre-order, or you want to make sure that I pick things up for you, just email me. But I'm not going to take orders necessarily. I don't want people paying me and then find out I can't get stuff. So, But we'll see how this all works out. Um, I'm excited, but... It's a little overwhelming. It's a little different flying over there than it is when I would just drive to Nashville. So, but all right, I'm just rambling at this point. If you have listened to all of this, thank you for visiting. I hope you have a great week. I should be back in two weeks to do an update video. Thanks.